Josh, how long have you been dipping your toe in the woodworking water now? Uh, less than two years. And uh, you've come to me a couple times with some questions about woodworking in general. Specifically lately, we were talking about some questions you have about the table saw. So we're just gonna kinda freewheel here and you're gonna, you're gonna hear them as I hear them. So lay it on me, what do you wanna know? Well, as I've been working more, doing more woodworking, um, there's some tools that I have become more comfortable with, and the table saw is a tool I just cannot get comfortable with, probably because I haven't had formal training. But just some of the basic safety um, uh, procedures I should be aware of, where to stand, how high should the blade be, um, when to use a, a, a push stick. Um, so let's start there. All right, well, let's, <laughs> let's start a step before that, which would be if we're gonna mess with the saw, unplug the saw. And no matter how safe you think it is that it's plugged in, but it's shut off or whatever, that ain't the deal. So you always wanna make sure it's unplugged like this one is right now. Now, the blade height is a great question. Um, this part of the blade, you know what those are called, those valleys between the teeth? No. All right, it's a, it's a goofy <laughs> name. I wouldn't expect you to know it because it's bizarre. These are called the gullets of the saw blade. And anything that's got teeth has gullets between the teeth, bandsaw blade, handsaw, whatever it is. So when you're setting this blade height, what you want to do is set the bottom of the gullet even with the top of your material. Okay. And that gets the blade in a position where it's safe to use. It's not too high, not too low. It's a great place, a great thing to keep in mind for your blade height. Okay. Okay. Um, body position, you are in perfectly the wrong spot right now. I'm actually okay. <laughs> um, so the way to look at this would be where, when you stand here, you're directly in the line of kickback from the table saw blade. So kickback is when the blade has the opportunity to grab a chunk of wood and throw it out pretty violently. Um, the rim speed, the teeth on a table saw blade are going about 150 miles an hour. So I'm not trying to scare you off, but I'm just trying to give you the reality that if those teeth grab a chunk of wood and throw it back, it comes back really fast. Right. So what I tell my students is, use these lines on the table, which are your miter gauge slots, as a guide of where you should not be. So the danger zone is any place in between these two lines. And you're right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay, so for the most part, for you, you're gonna to be to the left of the blade, to the left of this slot, if you're doing a rip cut with the fence in place, you'll be pushing with your right hand and just kind of turning your hips to keep yourself away from the line of cut, the kickback line of the saw blade. Okay. Um, the other thing I've seen students do in class is when they're tentative about a table saw, they tend to stand back away from it, which is natural. But what happens is you're making a cut is you run out of arm and you don't want to get to where you can't reach far enough to finish the cut or you're leaning a lot to finish the cut. So this way you can locate yourself so that you're just, your hip is right up against the beam of that saw, you're as close as you can get, and that way you can push stuff all the way out onto the outfeed table. Um, the push stick, the famous Russian hockey player, push stick. Um, anytime your cut is three inches or less on a rip, you have to use a push stick. If it's over three inches and you still wanna use a push stick, that's fine but three inches or less, you gotta use it. And that happens all the time. Face frame rails and styles, door rails and styles, a lot of aprons for tables, mm -hmm. a lot of narrow stuff out there. Right. Um, push pad, this is gonna come into play. So as far as you know, what you need in your safety kit, when we do dados or rabbits on the table saw and provide a whole down pressure, mm -hmm. you wanna do that with a push pad instead of the push stick, because then you can get more on top of, on the surface of the piece. Um, and the big thing here is you got to have a guard in place. You really, I can't say enough about this. If the guard that's with your saw is a lousy one, if it doesn't work for you, there are aftermarket guards out there that you can look at. Um, the guard brings a lot of things to the table saw table. There's a splitter here. The splitter infills in what's the kerf of the cut. So as we start to push a piece of wood through, the blade makes a path, and that's called the kerf where the wood has come away. The kerf goes on either side of the splitter. Have you seen it where wood like expands or contracts as it exits yep. the blade? So the deal there is the wood wasn't dried correctly and it, this happens f fairly frequently. And if it wasn't dried correctly and it starts to pinch in behind the saw blade because the splitter's not there, it can climb up on the back of the blade 
that's going to lift it off the table saw table, and that's a huge cause of kickback. Right. So the splitter acts as an infill for that. Then additionally, the splitter also includes these pawls. They're very sharp here on the bottom. They're anti-kickback pawls. So what happens is they're a one-way gate. The wood can push through them, but because of the sharp fingers on there, it can't come back. Mm -hmm. And that does a lot to help reduce or prevent kickback. And then, of course, the basket over the top of the whole thing is what's going to really help keep you out of harm's way with that okay. table saw blade. How'd I do? Good. Anything else I can ease your mind a little bit with table saw? No, I think this is a good start. You know, I'm sure I'll have more questions as I go along. All right. Well, uh, hopefully with this information, we'll help Josh make the cut <laughs> nice. and uh, answer his safety questions about the table saw.